What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time, and it is Charlotte Salcedo, your host, and we are going to be um, going over some presets here. So what I have is I have the Rustic Lightroom mobile presets, but if you are like me, um, you don't necessarily like to use Lightroom, so I have included um, something different which I think is a lot easier. It's a drag and drop method in Photoshop. So you can drag your photos in and then you can colorize them all at the same time and then you can save them out um, using the batch process. And um, let me show you what I mean. All right, so here we go. So first things first, um, we have this blank file on top because um, for some reason, putting a blank file on top of your other files somehow saves space. I don't know, Photoshop is weird, I know. <laughs> um, maybe it's racist, I don't know, it likes blank spaces, it likes blank white spaces. Tell that to Taylor Swift. All right, enough of my corny jokes. And so here we go. Um, so this is without the style and that's with, so it just gives you a really good country tan. This is my rustic Western um, presets that I created. And so it's basically gonna make you look like a cowgirl, cause why not? I think cowgirl aesthetic is in. So, um, so basically, um, if you turn that off, that's how it looks. So she's not as tan, she's not as good looking. And so basically what you can do is you can either double click here and you can place a new file there. Okay, um, just like so. And this area, if you just wanted to change one photo, press enter and control S, and then you go back and then it's updated here. But I'm gonna just control Z that, um, control Z that and go back. Um, here and what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna drag this to the bottom here well I'm gonna drag it on here it's gonna create a new layer and then if you wanted to have like a stack of pictures with the same style you could do that so how I got all these pictures in here it's really simple um, you can create libraries so go to window and where is the libraries? Okay, right here. Okay, you pull that up, and then you just go to wherever your fold um, folders are, where your pictures are, and you just drag and drop them in here. Okay, you just literally just drag and drop a folder of pictures in here, and then you can just like, you have all of your pictures here instead of just going one by one on the desktop. So this makes it a whole lot simpler. Now this only works if you have a subscription. So if you kind of like, you know, uh, torrented your version of Photoshop, then um, it's not gonna work. So you gotta have, um, let's see here. I think it says, my, yeah, it says my name here and my email address and stuff like that. So yeah, you gotta have an account. So even if you have like an old uh, school account, you can still get a discount with uh, Adobe. I'll leave a link in the description. So basically it's as simple as that and you just drag and drop it in here and press enter. Okay, so if you drag it on top, the style is not gonna go there. So you just wanna drag it to the bottom here, right here. And then you could see you have that style there. If you turn it off and turn it on, you can see what a difference it makes. It makes it look very vintage -y, aesthetic, very Western-like, very Arizona tea is what I like to call it. And so that's basically it. And then so if you wanted to um, save all these files out, you could do so in a batch process. I'll show you that. So let's say that you wanted to add this style to a whole bunch of photos. So here's what we would do. Let's say you wanted to resize a whole bunch of photos, colorize them, and save them all out. Okay, so here's what you would do. Now, I'm gonna close this out, okay? And this is just an image, image size, 
it's four by six. So that would be approximately 1200 pixels by 1800 pixels. So if you wanted to make like a collage of a whole bunch of photos. So first what you would need is a destination folder, create a destination folder. Um, so I have my country batch folder here. I'm just gonna delete that for now. And my original, these are all the photos that I want to resize and colorize with the action that I have here. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to Photoshop. And then so what I would do is I would go to File, okay? And then I would go to Scripts, Image Processor, okay? And then the folder that we're going to be selecting with all of our images in it, it's going to be Batch country original okay let's go to the desktop and make sure that we have the correct one selected so where is it okay batch country original okay and then my country batch has been selected okay so you can either save it in the same folder but I would not recommend that so I would recommend creating a new folder and then the file type, I'm gonna save mine as a JPEG quality. Um, it can go up to five, and then you can convert the profile to sRGB, which basically um, captures the color profile from, you know, your, like the settings that you have within the monitor so it can transfer over. Um, so all the fi uh, color files that you have will transfer over, um, even if someone has a less quality monitor than you do. Um, that's just the really um, minute explanation. It, there's a more expansive one, but I don't got time for that right now. So resize to fit. So like I said, if you wanted to make them all four by six, you could change the width and the height. Now remember, this is by pixel, not inches. So if you put four by six in here, it's gonna make it four by six pixels. So don't make that mistake. All right, you can also save them as PSDs. Um, or TIFFs if you'd like. That's totally up to you. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna run the action. Now, mind you that you have to load this action. So um, you would have to double click to open it first before you started this process, okay? So it's gonna automatically recognize that I have this action open, okay? So I'm gonna be running the Western Rustic Actions Volume 1. Western Rustic Country Girl Actions. Um, and of course, that's by me, Photo Hackers. And then you're going to Photo Hack Lovers. And you're gonna just click Run. And then it's gonna go through these photos and it's going to do the actions like really quickly for you. And of course, if you have more photos, you can. I just chose just to do a few because, I mean, that would take forever. All right, so once that's done, you can go back out to your desktop. Um, my country batch, it's gonna be saved in the JPEG folder. And you can see now, um, oopsies, that all of these photos are, have been changed. So they've been colorized. Okay. So, um, and then I'm just gonna go through the original so you could see, um, that they have been changed. So that was the original. So you can see it's a lot more washed out. Okay. So um, even just like this one, see how tan she is now. I'm just going back through these and see how much like more in depth. It's like more country, more vintage, um, more rustic. So it just gives it a really good um, country rustic vibe like 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 the sun's gone down you know what I mean you've you've heard country songs before you know <laughs> so um so it looks a little bit more like the sun's gone down you know that that country um that vibe you know what I mean because I'm from the country so you know I definitely know how it looks so yeah so that is basically it um, I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave, you know, whatever in the comments. Um, 
this pack is going to be available in my store soon, so um, just stay tuned. But I just wanted to give you a brief overview of how you can batch process actions and, um, you know, save you a whole lot of time. Okay? All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and you have a wonderful day.